welcome to Monday's edition of Cracking the Cryptic, and here is the new Fistum of Hell puzzle. It's called Loop Sum, and uh, yeah, we're going to be having a go at this on the channel today. Now, in fact, I have noticed when I've looked at Logic Masters Germany that we have missed out a puzzle by Fistum of Hell. Fistum of Hell released another puzzle a week or two ago, um, but that is a logic puzzle, again, about touching Slitherlinks. Uh, it's very, well, I read the rules, and it's a cross between touching Slitherlink rules and Country Road, which is another type of logic puzzle. Um, so my plan is that I will have a look at that at some stage uh, for our patrons over on Patreon. Um, so keep an eye out over there if you want to see my attempt at that. But this one is a Sudoku, believe it or not, although it's called Loop Sum. Um, and I have even got an example. Look, Fistamafel was kind, kind enough to create an example, so we should be able to understand what's going on. Uh, so why don't we just read the rules? I imagine this could be a very, very long video. Here they are. Fill the grid with the nut digits. It says digits, not numbers. I don't think there's much of a difference, but it does say digits. Fill the grid with the digits one to nine, such that every row, column, and region contains each digit exactly once. The regions are sets of nine orthogonally connected cells and have to be determined by the solver. Okay, so far I understand what's going on. I think there's a massive craze at the moment for chaos constructions, i.e. Sudokus where there are no given regions and you have to make them yourselves. It seems that every puzzle we get sent and recommended at the moment is a chaos construction. I don't mind that at all. I love chaos constructions apart from the irregular Sudoku bits at the end. Um, but anyway, what are, what are the rest of the rules? Draw a loop that travels horizontally and vertically uh, from cell to cell. The loop enters and exits every region exactly once. A small clue in the top left corner of a cell indicates the sum of the digits in all cells visited by the loop in that cell's region. So. Let's have a look at the example and uh, reread the uh, instructions and see if we can understand what's going on. So this is for a six by six grid, and this is obviously the solution in the colored grid on the right. So, right, first thing I'm saying is that in the two, the, this region, this blue region, there is a small clued two, and it looks like the loop only takes the cell in that region that contains a two. Oh yeah, look look at the purple region. The 14 there. I was wondering if the if the small clues had to always be in the top left hand corner of their regions, a bit like killer Sudoku cages, but they certainly don't. Look, there's a 14 clue where the 14 is, is in is in the cell containing the one. And the loop cells do add up. Yes, two, three, four, and five do add up to fourteen. So that I sort of see what's going on in the purple region. Nineteen 19 for the orange region and 11 for the gray region. Yeah, what a fascinating idea. Okay, well, I sort of, I think I can sort of understand what, we're, what we've got to do. Um, do have a go. The way to play is to click the link under the video as usual. I am not sure how hard this is. It's got four stars out of five for difficulty on Logic Masters Germany, which means it's it means it's anything from quite hard to exceptionally hard, and it, but it has got quite a lot of solves. Uh, I think about 30 people have tried this, so um, it, you know, take, make of that what you will. Anyway, I'm going to have a go now. Let's get cracking, and I can't remember if I said that the way to play, if you want to play, is to click, click the link under the video. I probably did, but I forgot. Um, so, the 43 at the top must be must be interesting, mustn't it? Because virtually the entirety of this region is going to be contained, is going to have, have to have loop in it. And that's because of the secret. Now the secret is something I only tell my favorite people, but if you are watching this um, and we're going to be having a look, well, and we're, we're solving a Fistemfell puzzle, you are definitely one of my favorite people because anybody who likes Fistemfell puzzles is something of an aesthete when it comes to puzzle things in general. And a four, well, the digits one to nine once each add up to 45. So a region of nine cells with a 43 clue is telling us that exactly one cell in this region, whatever it looks like, doesn't have loop in it, 
and that cell must have a 2 in it. Um, now, so can we just draw this region in? It, it, it can't overlap with a 1 region. In fact, the reason I'm just pausing here is I'm wondering if the 1 regions... No, the... I'm sorry, well, I'm not being very articulate, but that's because I'm puzzling over the fact that in, in a one region, in a, a region with a one clue, there must be one cell in that region that has loop in it, and that cell must be the, have the digit one in it. Now, what I'm wondering is, I don't think these can be the same, can they? Because the 43 is going to split them up. And whatever the 43 looks like, if we if we start to build a 43 region, if we're then going to claim this this region and this region are the same region, they're going to have to ring a nine cell region. And I well, and also no, they're they're going to have to no, hang on no, let me just try and do this as efficiently as as humanly possible. No, this is this just doesn't work, does it? We're going to keep we're going to run out of space and either have to also surround a twenty three region or a two region. I think um, I can't. Yeah, I can't see how to connect these one regions together. I might be missing a trick here, but I can't see how to do it, or at least no, I cer I certainly can't see see how to do it given this twenty three and this two. So these one regions are different from each other. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah, ah, right. Okay, this is huge. So in fact, Fistimafel has been generous. I m maybe this was implied by the instructions. Actually, I'm not sure. But the the point here is that because any any top left little clue. Um, well, because every single top left clue is not the same number, apart from the ones which cannot be in the same region, these top left clues define different regions of this puzzle, and there are nine of them. So we have to put every single cell in this puzzle into one of these regions, which is probably very important to know, but I'm not sure. So the so this region has to grow like this. The 43 must come to at least this square because it can't bump into the one regions. This cell will make uh, purple. Um, and now we've got star. <laughs> I don't believe it. Uh, oh, come on. Uh, this is not a very propitious start, is it? Because really, we we need to be growing growing these regions rather more. Well, with rather more. I've lost I've lost the ability to use adjectives with <laughs> with rather more gusto. Um, hmm. Okay. So I'm wondering if the if this cell in the corner can be loop because it's going to cause. No, no, of course. It, right. Ah, right. Now I see what's going on. Right. So I'm going to switch to loop um, loop drawing, which is the pen tool. Um, we, we, we used this yesterday. If you're unsure about how I'm drawing these loops in the grid, Sven's software is marvelous. Just click the cog icon on the right hand side of the grid and then enable the pen tool and you'll be able to do it now. What would happen if we try and put this cell in the top left hand corner of the grid on the loop? Well, that would happen. But this is a problem now because we know in the blue region, the only cell on the blue region that contains loop is the digit one. So now I have to exit this region immediately. and I'm going to have to exit it into orange. And now the puzzle's broken. Why is the puzzle broken? It's because every region in this puzzle um, the loop enters every region ex and exits it exactly once. So if we think about what that means, that means that um, the loop can only cut the border of any region we draw exactly twice. There's going to be one entrance and one exit, however we define them. And we've just drawn 
an entrance here or an exit, doesn't matter which one it is, and an entrance here and an exit here. So now the loop has to entirely sit within the 43 region. And that's going to be a big problem for all the other regions, which now don't have any loop in them. So that's not right. So this seems to be important because now that's right. That's a two. I've got to, I've got to ditch it in a piston fell within 10 minutes. This is very unusual. Um, so, yeah, this must be a two because we know there's only one digit in this nine cell region that doesn't have loop on it. And by the secret, we knew it was a two. So there's a two in the top left corner. And we know that every other cell in orange is on the loop. And that means that's on the loop. And if that's on the loop, it's a corner. So that's forced. And now this we can't go in here ever again. We can't go into this cell because if we do, whoa, I'll have to take two cells in the loop in blue. And there's only one cell in the in in the loop in blue. And in fact, oh, I've got another digit because this digit in purple must be one because it's on the loop. And that's the last time we can go into purple, wherever purple goes. Uh, right, hang on, let's just, so we can sort of mark this off as unenterable. We can uh, <laughs> What do I do now? We can don't see what to do. Um, maybe I've got to use this one somehow. So the problem with the one is I don't know which of these cells is purple. I know both of them can't be purple because if both of them were purple, the loop would have to end here. And that's not creating a loop. It's creating a line. So one of these is, is unpurpled. Ah, ah, and can't be, hmm, that's interesting. I'm going to say that one of these, one of these is purple, and one of these is another colour that is not orange. And the reason I'm saying that is that imagine we did try and make this orange and this purple. Well, now we know that loop must exit purple. It must therefore enter orange. And again, I've got to close the loop because... Um, orange has been entered and exited, which is not going to work. So this square and this square are some combination of purple and a new colour. But I don't... Right, well, that's still helpful because that means that orange must cohere. And orange doesn't have the same clue as a 23, so orange must extend down. So blue must go here. This needs a new colour. We'll make this... Uh, what colour should we make this that's not going to clash? Grey, maybe. So blue must come here. Um, now... So now the loop... Yeah, yeah. Now the loop must stay in orange until, until the end of orange. It cannot leave orange because it must take all eight cells in orange wherever they live before it exits orange because otherwise there will be a re-entry into orange and this is not space and astrophysics um, so it's the sudoku version thereof <laughs> uh, okay so now Now, which of these, that's the question, isn't it? Which of these is is the real purple? Which, Because whichever one is the real purple is not the next loop segment cell. So the loop is either going to come down here, in which case this will be green and this will be purple. And purple will have to go there and there. Which would push orange here. Or, whoops, hang on, go away. <laughs> go away. Why would it go away? Um, 
Or what was the alternative? Oh, this is purple and this is orange. And no, this is then green. And then green has to get out. So green would come here. But that looks more complicated because now green... Ah, right. No, there is something here. Right, let me let me talk you through this because this is interesting. Um, so the thing I was... In fact, let's do, let's do this longhand. Let's firstly consider whether purple is in this square. And let's do this slowly. So if, if this is the purple and this is the, the new colour, so the loop must continue out of purple down the left hand side of the grid, then purple still needs to grow to be nine cells large, which means purple must come here and here. And this is the cell I want us to focus on, this one. I'll give it a yellow flash. So we have to have purple here and therefore orange is going to be pushed here. But what happens if the loop does not do this? Well, in that case, if the loop, do if the loop doesn't drop down here, that's because, so if the loop comes this way, that's because purple is extended downwards. So that's the other alternative. Now, if purple extends downwards, this is the green cell, but this is the start of a new region. So green must come to here. And this is where it gets very interesting. Because the next question we need to ask is where does the third green cell live? And is it in particular in the two? And it's not, is it? It can't be in the two because that would be saying there is exactly one cell in green that's in the loop. I mean, you can see here, we can't close the loop here. So we're going to have to take two cells at least in green. So this cannot be green, but that means that's green. So we've now identified that this is either green or purple, but it's certainly not orange. So now we can get rid of all this. We know that these are still, they still have the options of green or orange. We don't know where the loop goes, um, but we do know that this cell is green or orange and therefore, um, sorry, not green or orange, I can't speak, green or purple. And therefore this square is orange, which means that square is gray, which means that square is blue. And that means we have to extend the loop again to here. And that means, what does that mean? Um, I don't know. So we've got the loop going over here. <laughs> uh, well, I want the small point is I can't, I can't leave orange yet. Can I have, I have to take all eight cells in orange. So this 23 is never visited by the loop because if the loop goes there, it's going to have to take two cells in blue at the top and that won't work. How on earth do we do this then? Uh, none of... Hmm. None of those cells can be the one in blue. I oh, know that's not true. That can be. Ah, that's not true. Sorry. I was I was just wondering there about how I could put one in the top row. Now it's not possible for the, these four squares to be ones. That is true because if that's a one, it's visited by the loop, and there's no way of not taking a second blue because once the loop, once we go up there, we've got to turn and we're going to take a second blue cell which we couldn't do but this one this one here is different because if that's a one and if this is some other color let's make that yellow then the loop can enter uh, the top row and turn there oh uh, actually I'm not sure I'm actually maybe that's not right because now what's this what's this <laughs> this this mustn't be blue 
Um, so it would need to be grey, and that's going to make a very small blue region. Ah, okay. So maybe this can't be. Maybe this can't be a one. There's something weird going on in the top row regarding one. Is that is that is that, does that logic continue to apply? No, it probably doesn't actually. What about if that was a blue one? If that was a blue one, and then this was some new colour, then blue could escape down here, and we'd be entering blue and just clipping it there like that. So, so maybe this can't be a one, a blue one, but this could be a blue one. Um, right. Sorry, this is all this is all conjecture anyway. Um, we have hit a bit of an impasse in this part of the grid, haven't we? We need to... Well, we probably need to work out which way round this goes. That's the concern, isn't it? Maybe I shouldn't have stopped where I did. So I stopped here because I could see that this was going to push the orange. But maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I should have tried to go further. So let's... Let me think about this. So let's try this again then. Which way do I think it's going to break the fastest? I have not got a clue. Um, we're going to go with extending the loop. I don't know, but I've got, I've got to make a choice. Right, let's make that one. Um, we'll make this one green. So that means this one is purple. Now, if this is the case, with the loop must exit purple. So it must come to green. And purple must continue to grow. So that becomes purple. That becomes purple because we can't take purple, which is a one clue into a two clued region. So green comes down to there. Now green absolutely could join the two. At least I think it can. Oh no, no, hang on, we get into trouble again, don't we? Because we have because we have to exit purple, the loop has to continue down, which means this cell is is in green, obviously. But if we now join green up here make this green then this can't move because this would well and it would have to be a two because there's only going to be one cell in the region with a two clue that's in the loop so in fact green would have to go down there like that oh no maybe it could come to the six ah it's all getting very complicated That's quite interesting, actually. Green can't go to the six in this case. Because how could it? That's very interesting. I'm very suspicious about that. Because if this is green, we know that the loop is taking these two cells at least in green. So green, we need to make these two cells, or a third cell perhaps, add up to six. But you can't make a domino add up to six without a one and a two. And you can't make a, a triomino add up to six without a one and a two. So a triomino would have to be one, two, three. A domino would have to be one, five or two, four. So this is broke. Well, no, it's not broken. It's not broken. It, all we're saying is that this is not possible to be green. So green has to turn. One, two, three. Ah, right, that, this is broken for another reason. Okay, so I think we do break it this way round because, because what this tetromino of green has to reach a clue cell because every, every digit, every cell in the grid is in one of these clues, one of these nine cell regions. Now, the only one I think this can reach is a straight line to the 29. And that does not look to me very profitable for the bottom of this grid, where I've now got to fill 27 cells 
with clues that could come from here and here and here. That cannot be possible. I'm not even sure I can reach this cell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, it can just reach it. But then how do I reach that one? I can't. There's no way. There's no way this works. Or maybe we can prove this a different way, actually, because now we'd have a two region here. So let's just have a think about this. Let's make this red. So this would have to come out here. This would have to come out here. Uh, what would happen next? This, the orange needs to grow, so that would come to here. The purple would come to here. Now the red is blocked off. Yeah, okay, you can see it. You can, you can um, take your choice about how you disprove this variant. I, the way I saw it very quickly was just saying the bottom of the grid has too much white space in it. But if you actually try and force the top of the grid to work, you can see that we're we're running into problems. We're, 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 we're penning in regions before they've reached size 9. And this, right, this is important, I think, because now we have categorically proved which way round the, these two cells are. We have proved... That this was not the green one so this is the green one which means this is the purple one and now we know that the loop cannot go into the purple because it's a one clue which means that the loop must turn which means that the loop now must turn down so green yeah green has to grow so that's got to be green now this square I think we prove this is where the loop goes next or was it where or, or were we proving that no maybe no ah no I'm not sure that's true I think we, we proved this was either green or purple which suggests it's now green yes okay that, that does make sense this can't be green can it because I think we did this logic before if this is green we, we should have cells summing to two on the on the path in green and these two cells cannot sum to two so that is not green so this is green this is a new color which we shall make maybe we'll risk red because the orange might not touch it and now we can have purple has got to come down here i love this sort of thing that's got to be red that's got to be green this has got to be orange this has got to be gray this has got to be blue oh okay now Oh, no. Oh, yeah. No, this is very interesting. Right. So this square cannot be visited by the loop, this one here. Because if I do take the loop down, this would be a 2, but then we have to get out of it immediately. So we can't turn right and we can't turn left or south because we've already visited the purple region once and we can't visit it again. So the loop must continue there. Oh dear, and then then what does it do? The answer to that is I don't know. <laughs> oh, that was so lovely though. We sort of got on a right run going up, making this staircase up, up to the top right of the grid. Um, so can the loop turn down there? That would be a two. But yeah, that could work because this could be a new region here because purple could dip down here. Um, right. Ah, but I can extend the loop. The loop still needs to wend its merry way along orange. So far, orange has got seven cells in it. So we still need two more orange cells. Still doesn't look to me very easy to put a one at the top of this grid. Um, ah, right, right. Look at this cell. How could this be grey? That's my question. How could that be grey? I don't think it can be grey. For a rather beautiful reason, which is if it's grey, 
What are, what are we going to do with blue? Blue's only got six cells. It needs three more, so it's going to have to be those three. And now where are we going to put one in the blue? And you can't put it anywhere. It's so beautiful, isn't it? It's so beautiful. This is classic Pistemafel. So you can't put one anywhere because if you put the one here, you now can't put a one in row one at all because you can't repeat a one in a region. So that's no good. So you're going to have to put one somewhere in the top row and it's going to have to be visited by the loop. The moment you visit a cell in this top row with the loop, you're going to have to turn the loop into another blue cell and that won't work. So that's impossible. And if it's impossible, that means that this square is not grey. Which means that cell's grey. Now, let me just pause there for a second. Does it mean that this is blue? Is that the corollary of what we've just said? I think it is. So if this cell was any other colour, let's make it green. The same logic just applies, doesn't it? We have to finish blue like this that because blue can't overlap with the 21 that's a nine cell region and again we get the same problem so yes that cell is in fact blue uh, hmm. i'm not sure what that means quite i'm not my brain is not telling me but I've now turned grey downwards, so I can turn orange downwards, I can turn green downwards, I can turn red downwards, I can turn purple downwards. Now this cell's a new region, because it can't overlap with the one, so those two cells, we'll make these blue again on the basis it would be highly strange if these blue regions met up with each other. So we went, we made the staircase go up. We've now made the staircase come down. Uh, we can extend orange. Oh, right. Now, 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 now we return to the question of whether this square can be the two clue in red. And the answer is no, because if I go in there, what's my next move? You have to return to green, which means that green's had an entry, an exit, and a re-entry, which is not allowed. So we've got to stay in green. We can't close the loop yet. We've got to continue. Uh... I don't know. I'm tempted to come back to this cell though. And the reason is I'm I'm wondering where we put the one in blue. If this is the last ever blue cell in this in this column, if 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 blue ends here, then I have to do those two as blue. And aren't I in exactly the same position I was when I tried to make this the blue region? i.e. where do we put one in blue again? You can't put it anywhere. If you put it here, you can't put a one in the top row. And if you don't put it here, the one that has to be visited by the loop will need a second cell in blue, which is impossible. So blue does not end here, which means blue must extend down again. And what do we get now? We get, a, we get the staircase again. So we've got to do, keep going down here which means that becomes purple. Now this thing in the bottom has become very Although we can get extra cells on it, it's got to come to here. Now purple, four, five, six, seven. Purple's finished. Four, five, six, seven. It's got to, it can only take those two cells. So blue must come here. Red must come here. Green must come here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Green needs to get a number in it. So green goes there. That's the ninth green. Orange. Oh, orange is finished. I've got nine orange cells. So orange must drop down there as its final cell. It can't close, look, because we must be able to put some loop, for example, in blue in the bottom. It's got a six clue. So we've got to turn there. So I still can't, I can't exit green at this point, can I? Because again, I'm going to have run into the problems with this two clue. So probably... 
oh no 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 look 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 you can't even put a two there in red if you do what do you do with the loop now if, if it goes through here it's got to go back into purple again and it's not allowed to so that so the loop must stay in green again but green's finished isn't it? green is finished right right that's the seven nine pair that is so beautiful good grief how do we know this is a seven nine pair well it's because we know that green is finished by the time it reaches this 29 it's got all nine of its cells and therefore the cells on on green that are not on the loop sum to 16 because we've got 29 on the loop and so 16 45 minus 29 is 16 we cannot do that in one cell so we must have two cells off the loop and that's the most we can have because the loop has had to come to this cell two cells different digits adding up to 16 must be a 79 pair so now the loop must turn into red where we know red is a two clue now it must leave red again ah but here is where it's going to get tricky one two three four purple purple is finished so this cell doesn't have to be well it could be it could be blue or it could be it could be a new color but okay so i don't think we know where the loop whether the loop goes that way or that way uh, i know it doesn't go this way right so orange is finished orange yeah orange is finished so this is this is a color we have to determine so this could be gray or it could be could it be th no it can't be that one because if it's that one you're going to cut gray off and not allow it to be nine cells but it might be able to be this one because if those three are the same that does leave the grey with an escape valve look. Ah, no it doesn't. Right, here's something interesting. This square, let's make this purple on the basis I don't think it's ever going to meet that purple, at least not in this example. If, if, this, if this cell here was in the same region as this cell, now look at what happens to grey. Grey is only five cells large, so it has to come to the, here and it has to take two more cells. But look, this 21 has to get out somehow. It's only, it's only got six cells there in the top of the grid. So where are we going to try and take this, the, this, the eighth and ninth cell in grey? If we come into column nine, we're cutting off the 21's escape valve, which we cannot do. And we can't take two more cells without coming into the ninth column. So this is wrong. And that means um, that that cell is not in that region and we know it's not green or orange it can't be blue blue can't get there one, two, three. no blue's only got one more cell to take it can't be that one so this cell is gray which is <laughs> a lot of logic for not proving very much at all well we do know we've now got to stay in gray to get pick up 23 so we can't just exit grey. I don't know quite how this works now. So this one I'm going to make red and hope these reds never meet. This one I'm going to make purple or yellow, do you think? Maybe yellow. We've not had a yellow yet. Although yellow is probably going to be a bit close to green. Hmm. Okay. So, how do we do this? I've got to take one more cell in blue, and I've got to make sure I put a, a, a 
I was going to say a blue one in the top in the top row, but I'm not sure it necessarily is blue. I think it can be blue if this was the one. If that's the one, then can the loop not do that? And no, actually that doesn't work. Ah, okay, okay. So, this is tricky though, this is tricky. So let's look at this. If this was the blue one, the final cell in blue, then we have to ask what color this is, I think. I think this is the critical question. And I think the only answer to that is red. Because if this skull was yellow, yellow would have to take something like these cells. And red couldn't reach a count of, far, of nine, and neither actually could gray. So this cell would have to be red. But this is a problem. Because now in order to fulfill me, uh, meeting this or taking a loop cell here, I enter an exit red. Now having entered and exited red, I cannot leave again. So I'm going to have to close the loop and never, never, make, never meet my friends on the loop over there. So this doesn't work. I think there's some general thing that I've missed in this top row. I think I could have deduced this right really a long time ago. Um, so, so, right, okay, I'm not even sure I'm saying very much here. I'm saying that the one in the top row is not blue. That's what I'm saying. And it must therefore, one of those two cells must be a one. And probably, I think, be red. So the red one is in one of those two cells. And that means we need to ask the question. Ah, got it, right. So now I want to ask the question, where does one go in blue? And that is an interesting question because it can't go in those cells. It could go here, and I think it will go here. It can't go here because there's a one there. If the, if the ninth blue cell is here, again, it still can't have a one in it. Now, the, the last blue cell could be there in theory, but it can't actually, because gray could never grow. Gray would be penned in and would only have to take uh, however many cells that is, seven, I think. So in fact, ah, the way to see this perhaps more easily is to, is to notice this cell must be gray. And probably one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and that cell must be gray. This one might have to be gray. We can't take gray into the. Oh no, gray. So, oh, okay. So gray, gray could go here or here for its ninth cell. But now, yeah, let's come back to blue. We've now worked out the only possible cell in this puzzle that can take the the blue one is there, and that is amazing because now look. That means that this is on the loop, but no other blue cell is. So we've now created a tunnel of one. <laughs> Not a tunnel of love, a tunnel of one. A tunnel of love, by the way, one of the great songs by Dire Straits. And the alchemy version is incredible. Right, anyway, that's distracted me. Right, now look at grey now, where we've got to connect this and this without leaving grey. Oh, bobbins. Right, we've got to come down there, but I was going to say it's got to close there, but it could go there if grey extends. Uh, can we resolve that? I don't know. Um, uh, Sorry, no, I can't quite tell how to do that. If if it did wiggle, if it did a jiggle like that, four, five, six, we'd have six loop cells adding up to 23. So the three non-loop cells in grey would add up to 22, and that's possible. We know one of them would be a nine. Okay, so maybe what we've got to do is extend red then, because I can see that red is now penned in by this grey. So 
yeah, so all of this down the right hand side has got to be red to get red out. In fact, red must come there. In fact, now yellow's got to grow. And now look, we need to take a ninth blue cell, which is one of these, which means the maximum number of cells red takes at the top of the grid is five, six, seven, eight. So red must come down there. Yellow must come down here. Uh, we've entered red here. We can't re-enter grey. So surely, surely to get out of the top right of the grid, we've got to continue in red, don't we? Because we can't ever go in grey again. So the only way out is down here, I think. But then we could probably go into yellow. So we've got to, so that the loop must take that, that configuration. That's red. Oh, in fact, one way to think about this is the ninth column. Blue has only got one more cell to take. Gray has only got one more cell to take. So that could be gray, that could be blue. But anyway, any way you do it, those two cells are red. So now red has reached a size of eight. Oh, Now I think I might have made a mistake. I'm worried about this cell. Was I justified in putting this cell in as red? Because I, I thought about blue having to take one of these, but I didn't consider whether grey had to. It's definitely true that blue has to take one of those. So, so the maximum you could put there is five. Yeah, no, it is true, isn't it? So it does have to come down here. It, the, the point is it might have to come further. OK, that's fair enough. If that's grey and that's blue, then you've got to take one more red. OK. Uh, OK. Oh, but ah, yeah, here's something interesting. So the 21 clue, whether this jiggles that way or whether it does that, it's at least five cells of redness without including the red one, because the one in the top right is red, it's not blue. So I've got to make five digits add up to, well, I've got to make at least five digits. I suppose I could do that, but I think that's going to be too many because I've got to make at least five digits add up to 21 without using a one, unless I do it like that, in which case I've got seven cells adding up to 21, which is ridiculous. The triangle number for seven is 28. So it is going to be five. It's going to be five cells. It's either going to do this or it's going to do that. And well, two plus three plus four plus five plus six is 20. So that's impossible. So it's going to be two plus three plus four plus five plus seven is the only way of doing it. So that means this cell and these three cells and one of these three cells have to be a two, three, four, five, seven quintuple and that doesn't doesn't do anything <laughs> oh well um ah no it does it does do something it means that we can't take any more cells in red so one of these is red but that means this cell is not this cell is red but it's not on the loop so the loop must turn so the loop now enters yellow where it must stay in yellow until it reaches a count of 31 so it's got to drop down even if this is yellow it can't be visited by because then it then the loop couldn't couldn't take 31's worth of cells in yellow so the loop comes down here it's still got to take at least two more cells in yellow Four, 
four stars out of five. I don't know. I've been going 50 minutes. I don't think I've been that slow, have I? Um, it's going to be another movie. If, 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 if I can even solve it. I've got all my purple. Oh, oh no, bobbins. Okay, I was just wondering where I was going to put one in orange, but I can, I think, put it there. Uh, it can't obviously be here or here because of Sudoku. Let's double. Oh, I've only got two ones in the grid. But I, I do know a little bit about ones. Oh dear. Okay, so we've got to... Purple is finished. Maybe I've got to decide which way red goes. How many cells have I got in blue? I have got seven. So I'm allowed two more cells in blue. So blue can never reach that cell. So yeah, okay, that does it, doesn't it? Right, okay. So now let's think about red. Well, red, no, let's think about loop. Let's think about loop. So the question I want to ask is, does the loop do that? And the answer must be no, mustn't it? And that's because if the loop does do this, this cell must not be red axiomatically because we fulfilled the red clue already. So it must be another color. We know it can't be blue because blue only has two more cells to go. So it would have to actually be yellow. But if this is yellow, then the loops, the loop never ever visits blue because we must stay in yellow and go up here and however this closes we're going to have a loop in the top bit of the grid and never visit blue so that doesn't work so the loop does not turn right that's the point so the loop must drop down now that's therefore got to be blue I want to say because it can't be yellow for exactly the same reasons this couldn't be yellow if it was loop this the next cell on the loop is not yellow so it its only other option is to be blue. So that, that's perhaps a different way of saying the same thing. So now, right, this is very interesting. This is so clever as well, look. So now where does the loop go next? Does the loop come into row nine? That's the question we should ask, I think, because the answer is no. Because if it does, how do I ever fulfill the six clue? Either, either this is blue, and there are three cells in blue, which would have to be a one, two, three, triple, which is impossible, or this is not blue, in which case these two cells have to add up to six, and they can't be two, four, and they can't be one, five. That does not work. So we cannot visit the bottom of the grid with the loop, and the loop must turn. Ah, now that means the, that means red in turn must grow. So red comes here. Red cannot re-go into the loop, so red extends again. That means yellow comes down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The red has to grow again, so it has to go there. So that's the ninth red cell. So we, the loop can't go back in here anymore. So the loop must stay out of red and go across here. Oh, right, this is, this is so clever. Honestly, I do not know, Mr. Mappel, as usual, how you even begin to set these things. It's just nuts. Blue is not finished. Blue needs another cell. So how do we ever make this blue? Well, if we make this blue, we've got loads of problems. Because blue is finished, and these two cells would have to add up to six, which would require double three. But also, this would be a different thing, and blue would be entered and re-entered twice, which is not allowed. So that is not blue. So that's blue. And therefore, this domino adds up to six, which means... 
uh, it means this digit is low because that we can't put one or two there so this is a four or a five this is a one or a two blue is finished so this is not blue so it must be yellow yellow has now got oh yeah this is interesting right yellow has now got seven cells in it and it, we've got to put 31 on the loop so if the loop if the loop deviates at all from just closing here then we're going to have more than seven cells on the loop because if for example we did that we've got nine cells on the loop yeah these both have to be yellow we have all nine cells on the loop in yellow and this should be a 45 so the loop must simply close and we've got to have two cells off the loop in yellow that add up to 14 so we're looking at either 5 9 or 6 8 how many and we've got right and we've got eight cells in red so the bottom this cell in the bottom right that must be yellow it can't can't be reached by red so this square is either a 5 9 or a 6 8 Uh, now what do we do I've very nearly got the loop built and I've got to I've got to put one more cell in grey and I think the two options are these two I've got to put no one more cell in yellow and the two options are those two I've got to put one more cell in blue and one more cell in red and every one of those has at least two options. I fear the red might have three options. This one, this one, or this one. Uh, so how do we do this then? I don't see what to do. Um, oh, I can do Sudoku. Okay, when stuck, always think about Sudoku. Where do I put three in blue? It must go there. So perhaps Sudoku is what we need to think about. Two, two in purple is a bit restricted. Two in purple would be very restricted if that was a four-two pair. Okay, hang on a minute. Um, so in blue, these four cells here are the same as those four cells by the sort of law of leftovers in the sense that these digits whatever they are have to appear in blue so they have to be those digits but i know that the cells in the 31 cage that don't that are not on the loop add up to 14. so i want to say now that this cell it could be this, it could be that one. Is that true though? If that and that are the same. Then I have to put nine in one of these and then I can't leave nine off the loop. Isn't that a paradox? I think it is. So does this have to be a nine? Is that the point? So what I'm thinking is, in order for this not to be a nine, 
it must be one of those three cells, which the only one it could be is a 5. So these would be a 5. But now 9 has to go in there, and 9 is on the loop in the 31 region, which means the two cells that are off the loop should be 6 and 8, but we'd have one of them being a 5. That doesn't work. So that is a 9, which corresponds to that. These two cells are the same as these two cells, and this is so clever. This is so clever, because now... What is the nature of these two cells? We know that the other digit missing off the, uh, off the loop in yellow is 5. So we can't have 5 here. So that can't be 5, 1. Well, this can't be 5, 1 because it would put 5, 1 there. So this must be 4, 2. And that must be 2, 4. And 5 in yellow is either here or here. 9 in red has to be somewhere, and it's not there. So 9 in red is in one of those two cells. Yes, and I know what these four cells are. I know what they are because I know they are not 5, because 5 is off the loop in the 31 region. So these are 1, 6, 7, and 8, because we've already got 2, 3, and 4 and 9 in yellow already. So this cell is not 7, which means 7 is in one of, ah, uh, no. Yeah, it does mean 7 is in one of those three, because 7 can't even be here, because this is a 1, 6, 7, 8 quadruple. This is not 7. So is this what we have to do? Do we have to turn our attention to Sudoku? in order to finish the loop. That's very surprising um, and worrying. <laughs> um, goodness only no. Oh, hang on, I said something about if that's 2, 4, didn't I? Yes, okay, where does 2 go in purple? Yes, okay, that gets me a digit, that's a 2. So we should ask now where 2 goes in green, maybe? One of three positions, I want to say. Can we do better than that? The answer is... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, wow. Wow. Uh, I can place 9 in purple because of this 9. 9, 9. So 9 must go there. So perhaps 9 is now restricted in red. Yes, it is. 9 is restricted in red. This cell can't be 9 because of this 9. That 9 rules out that one. This 7, 9 rules out that one. So that's 9. So 9s are now looking a bit more profitable. So 9 in orange is now not in any of those cells, or here. So 9 is in one of three places, I think, in, um, in orange. <sighs> wow. Uh, <laughs> please, get, please get something done, Simon. Um, wow, I have no, I really do not know where to look here. This is not straightforward, is it? I thought that the, I don't know, I thought the later stages of the puzzle would lighten up a bit, but I'm not seeing anything clever here at all. Can we... Okay, I do not know. <laughs> I don't know where to look even. Um, 
Maybe I've got to stay on the digits I've got lots of. I've got four twos in the grid. Which is nearly interesting. But unfortunately, I don't think it's interesting enough for me to get excited about it. Is that really true? answer is it appears to be. They're all such strange shapes as well. I, I keep thinking I can see various you know little tricks that we might be able to do and then I sort of I spot something else that says no that trick doesn't work. So it looks to me like two might be restricted in the grey region but then you remember you don't even know what the grey region looks like actually because we've only got some cells in it there's still there's still more to be to be done with grey. And that's really annoying. Uh, so oh goodness me. Where on earth do we look then? We should look for maybe I've got to keep track more diligently on the totals. I've got 29 there, 31 there. I've still got to put this 5 into one of these cells, don't I? I don't really know how to label that. Um, I've got 2. I've got the 2, that's correct. The 6 is correct. The 1 is correct. The 43 is correct. The one is correct. Oh no, maybe it's not that actually. The 23 and the 21 we've talked about already. Ah, there's a small point there, isn't there? This digit has to appear somewhere in column one. So doesn't that digit have to be the same as that digit? Oh, that's it. Right, yeah, okay. Yes, so so the, the thing to think about is where this digit appears in column 1, not column 1, column 9. And it can't repeat in red, and it can't be 9, so it must be there, and it must not be red, so its only option is to be yellow. So now that we know is therefore a 5, because we know the 31 needs 14 off the loop. So that's a 5, 9, that's a 5, none of those are 5. So now this cell must now be grey, mustn't it? Because it can't, we've completed yellow. It can't be green. Green is done. So that's grey. Still don't know which of these works for being. Ah, I haven't put two in blue yet. Where's the two in blue? Oh, we don't know. Oh, I don't believe it. We don't believe it. We don't know where it goes because we don't know whether this is blue or not. Well, I suppose we know one of those two cells is two because of this two here. We can't put two in any of those. So one of these is two, uh, the blue two, but we don't know which one. Ah, good grief. Right, this is really complicated. Right, now though, look at columns uh, seven and eight in the puzzle. I've got a two in this domino and a two in this domino. So they are the two twos we're going to find in column seven and eight. We can't have any more twos or there will be a third two and that will be bad due to the rules of Sudoku. So none of those gray cells can be a two. But this two and this two are telling us none of those cells can be a two. So that is a two in gray, which just means those are not two and seems to place a two in green. Uh, now what does that mean? So now this is not a 2. How many 2's have we got? We've got 5, 6, 7. There should be 2 more. One of which is... Oh that's not a 2. Yes, okay. 
So we know that there was a 2 in this 2, 3, 4, 5, 7 quintuple that we found. Well, because we know that whichever one of these is 2 is the blue 2, it is not the red 2. This can't be a 2, this can't be a 2, that couldn't be, that couldn't be a red 2, because that would prevent us from putting a 2 in blue. So that must be a red 2. So now I should have eight twos, and there should be one two that I've not placed. One two. Oh no, I've got. Oh no, I've got seven twos. I've got seven twos, and I've got the blue two up here in one of these two, and a two down there. And and now we have to think again. And, <laughs> okay, so can we now conclude, oh, yes, I can, ah, ha, 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 right, now the grey, how does the grey close? Because if the grey loops the loop like that, now there are three cells in grey off the loop, which have to add up to 22, because we'd have 23 on the loop, 45 minus 23 is 3 is 22, one of those three cells is a 2, so the other two cells would have to add up to 20, and that's impossible. So that doesn't work. <laughs> so the loop closes there. We've nearly done the loop now. We are very close to doing the loop. I think I will do a loop the loop if we manage to get the loop done. Um, so now... Right, here is something a little bit interesting. Here is something a little bit interesting. These cells now add up to 23. But, unless I'm mistaken, there has to be a 1 in one of those cells by Sudoku. I seem to have 1's pencil marked here in orange. I've got a 1 here, and I've got a 1, 6, 7, 8 quad there. So, one is on one is in one of these three cells in fact and that means the other three cells on this string sum to 22 so they must include a nine so there is a nine in this string of cells which means that cell is a seven that cell is a nine now let's return to this three cells that sum to 22 that can't use seven must be one well, it must be 589. So I now know what that string of digits is. That is a 1589 quadruple. And that's not 1 or 5. That's not 1. That seems to have all the options in the world. That's not 9. Uh, and now this column, look, has not got 4 and 6 in it. Which is very annoying indeed. Um, right, so now this 23 region has not got 3, 4, 6 and 7 in it. I'm going to pencil mark that and get all good lift on myself because I haven't got anything better to do. That's not 6 or 7, so that's just 3 or 4. That's not four. Okay, <laughs> that doesn't go anywhere either. Um, that was nearly exciting, wasn't it? That was nearly exciting. So, uh, okay. So we've got, these nines aren't quite aligning, are they? We've got these nines all being pencil marked in the grid. Ah, okay, there's a small point there in column four, I think. Yeah, okay, where does the nine go in column four? Now this nine rules out those, this nine rules out that one, this nine rules out that one, that nine rules out that one. I mean, there are various other ways of saying that by normal Sudoku, but definitely those are not nines. That means the nine is in one of those cells. 
where it's meeting its friend the 9 that we need to put into red over here. So this is an x-wing on 9s. So we're either going to have a 9 here and here, or we're going to have a 9 here and here. So that means that this cell in particular and this cell cannot be 9. So we've got 9s in those cells. Ah, 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 right, this is beautiful. Okay, I'm going to tell you something else interesting now, which is that that is not a 9. Because if that was a 9, I'd have to put 9 there in orange. So this would be a 9 in red, remember. Red needs a 9. So you'd have 9s in these two positions. And now you can't put a 9 in blue. Because you can't put a 9 up there, and you can't put a 9 here. So that's impossible. So nine, the 9 must be here in red, and the 9 must be here in blue. And that means that must be a 9 in orange, and this must be a 1. And that feels like progress, because now the 2 in blue gets placed. This is exciting now, because that finishes red, it finishes blue. Well, the one in the top row now has to go here because we know that's a red one. This is not one. This is not nine. This is not nine. So that's a one, five, eight, triple. This is a nine. This was a nine. This was a one. So this is not one. This is not one. There's a five, eight pair. So this is a one. feels like it might matter but I can't quite see how to make it stick I've got two or three or four here that's just three or four by Sudoku it can't be two so two in this column is now sort of a hidden single I think it can only go at the bottom of the grid which is weird but it's weird but welcome so that's a two that's a four these are not fours three six seven so this is a four in gray that means that bounces back there and becomes a three. This is not four anymore. Good grief. Okay. Um, I mean, this is genuinely fast. I still... Ah, I was about to say I still haven't done the loop. I have now done the loop because the loop cannot go through a nine. We worked that out. We know that the loop cells to add to 21 had to be on a three, two, three, four, five, seven quintuple. So this is, two, well, that's just three, four or seven now. Unfortunately, all of those options seem to be available. But now at least I know these squares are a six, eight pair, which is very interesting and does nothing. And Gosh, we're up, we're, up, we're up to 78 minutes of video. Um, yeah, this is not easy, though. Uh, please tell me it's not easy. I have done the loop. I'm doing a metaphorical or an imaginary loop the loop in my mind now at the thought of doing the loop. Um, but I am very much unclear. How many ones have we got in the grid now? Several. I've got five ones. Is there any hope that we can do better than that? The answer seems to be yes. Where does one go in green? This one rules out those. So that's a one. So now I've got now I've got six ones. So I need three more and they're all down in the bottom sort of r bottom left of the grid aren't they i think although hang on oh no that's not a one. Oh, so the uh, there's a one in one of those two as well which i hadn't noticed so one yeah one in red is placed it's got it can only go there so now i've got this sort of diagonal arrangement of ones i've not put one in blue 
Oh, the, this one is giving me the one here, I see. So one in blue now must be done. Yes, it goes there. There we go, we've done all the ones. So we've done all the ones. Have we done all the twos? Uh, yes. <laughs> Have we done all the threes? No. We have not. Threes are actually looking very difficult. Um, have I done all the nines? I seem to have a lot of nines. Yeah, I've done all the nines. I've got a six eight pair in row in row six that I hadn't noticed before. So I've got to put three, four, and five into those three cells. That's not three. That's not four. Okay, I can do a little bit better than that by looking at row seven, actually. Yeah, look at row seven. Now, these cells here have to contain four and five in this row, don't they? Because these can't be four or five. They aren't four or five. So there's a four and a five in here in these cells. The four, in fact, must be in one of two positions, but I think the five can be in all three. So the four and the five in red are in those strings, so they're not there. So that's a three, that's a five, that's a four. Doesn't do very much, apparently. Oh. Ah, oh, you rotten thing, you rotten thing. Uh, no. Ah. Wow. Wow. Just wow. It still is being very recalcitrant. Right. Five must be in this domino in purple by Sudoku. How many fives have we got? Not many. Really not many. Five in orange is not there and not here so five in, oh yeah that's quite interesting so five in orange is in one of those so that's an eight and that's a five so eight in orange is now in one of three places which doesn't even give us a pencil mark you know or a pencil mark elimination anywhere else so how many fives have we got now i added to my quota of fives by a grand total of one That's no longer a five. Oh, we already knew that. That's just got four or six in it. Five is in one of two places. Five is in one of two places there. Five is in one of two places there. So the fives are sort of dotted around being unhelpful in a variety of locations. Okay. Five in the bottom row is in this domino. Oh, that's right. Okay, that is interesting. That is interesting. So five in the bottom row, I think, is in this domino. Now, that seems to coincide with where I've got fives in orange look. Let's just double check that pencil mark. That does look correct. So that means that we can't have any more fives in columns three and four. So that cannot be a five. And if that can't be a five, the five in red seems to have to be there. That, of course, does absolutely nothing. Again, I don't believe it. <laughs> OK. OK, sorry, I thought that was going to be helpful, but no. Uh, we're almost, I'm almost at the point where I'm just going to have to pencil mark everything and pray. Fives, fives. What about fives then in box, in the top blue box? Can we do anything with that? Yes. 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 The X-Wing rules out this cell. Five rules out that one. Five rules out that one. So it has to go there. Now, what does that do? So I've now got six fives plus the X wing. Yes, so this, oh, this five is doing that five. Okay, fine. And I'm just left with the X wing, but at least we got another digit. That's definitely good in my book. So three is now in one of those two cells in purple. 
So, oh, we've already done three in red, so that's not useful. Um, oh, goodness me. Okay. So, where on earth do we look now? Maybe column one. We need sixes, sevens, and eights. I can see that. So let's do that. Do we get any elimination? No. It appears sixes, sevens, and eights are very underwell or underrepresented in the actual big digits of this puzzle. Three, four, six, and eight into these squares. Right, let's look at green then. We need threes, fours, sixes, and eights. See what we can eliminate. We can eliminate eight from this one. We can eliminate four from this one. We can eliminate nothing. Oh, well, four again from that one. And... No! <laughs> oh, come on! Uh... No, I don't see an elimination from this one. Oh, good grief. Okay. Seven. Okay. Oh, no, that's no good either. Oh, there is a small point. Where does uh, eight eight in row row four has to be in one of those cells? So that's not able to be eight. So this is down to just three, four, or six. All right. Okay. Is that a weird X-wingy thing? threes in green are in those cells threes in purple are in those cells so they are aligning and that means three in orange can't be here or here or here or here by this three so i'm going to claim three in orange is there which means that's not a three and that's not a three which means I've now got to put six, seven, and eight again into column whatever this one is, column this one. And that's not resolved. There's now definitely a three in this domino. Ah, yeah, no. Ah, nearly. Threes are very nearly restricted here. I was getting excited about these cells. Oh, that actually, no, this is good. This is good. Right. Threes are in these cells, and threes are in these cells in green. So that's the two threes we need for rows four and five. So that can't also be a three. So that's a seven, that's a four, and that's a three. Which makes this seem to have to be a six, which gives me a three-eight pair here, which means that should be a four by Sudoku. Uh, three-eight. So this square should be known. That's a six. Can't be seven. Can't be three. So that's a seven, and that now has to be a three, by Sudoku. Um, and I need a seven and eight into this column, which of course doesn't want to resolve itself. <laughs> this square is no longer a seven, but I do know these digits now. They are four sixes and eights, aren't they? So I'm definitely pencil marking those and hoping for a a miracle four six eight triple so these two squares are five and seven and that is not resolved <laughs> this four is looking at that cell okay so that seems to have to be a four again six sevens and eights isn't it it's always six sevens and eights so that's six seven or eight that needs to be seven or eight there's a seven eight pair in red which makes this square a six ah so that means that's an eight and that's a six and that's a seven and that's an eight and that's a something a six wow okay that feels like it might make a difference to something yeah this four is giving me a six at the top so that gets me an 8 here, and a 7 here, and an 8 here, and a 7 here through the medium of redness, and an 8 here, and a 6 here. Wow. And a something there, a 7, and a 6 here. 
So some of these columns are getting finished. This is getting interesting now, isn't it? Uh, five and eight are a pair there, I think. To complete blue. I don't think they're resolved, but I could well be wrong. And that digit's known. That looks like it's got to be a four to make that top row. Work. So that's four and that's eight. So that's eight and that's five. And that's five and that's seven. Now this column needs a six in it. These squares need to be a three, seven pair. So I want to say this is seven and this is three and that's three and that's eight. And I'm just going to pause for a moment and try and detect whether this looks wrong or I think I can't see a me nothing is flashing at me saying repeated digit oh thank goodness for that wow 90 minutes 90 minutes door to door that was brutally hard how can that be four stars I mean admittedly perhaps there was no individually monstrous step there but I mean that was that was so interesting to build the regions. You couldn't finish it, I don't think, without then doing some quite hard irregular Sudoku. There was almost certainly better ways of me doing that. I'm I'm not sure what I missed on the irregular Sudoku, but irregular Sudoku's, I find it tricky anyway. Um, but loved it as always from the great man, Fister Mafel. Take a, yet another bow. And um, yeah, I'll look forward with trepidation to your uh, what's it touchy slitherlink country road hybrid puzzle which i will i will look at once i've had a cold towel around my head for some considerable hours thanks for watching we'll be back later with another edition of cracking the cryptic mm -hmm.